In an Excel list, if you try to copy and paste when the list is filtered, you might run into some problems. So we're going to take a look at how those problems occur and how you can avoid it. So in this list, we've got some ship dates that are missing and it's all the chocolate chip cookies. Somebody just didn't fill those in and I know they were always shipped on the same date that they were ordered. So I'd like to copy the order date into the ship date column and do them all at once. To start, I'm going to filter the product column for chocolate chip. I'll just start typing it. It comes up with just that item. When I press enter, it's filtered for chocolate chip. And now I can see the dates and I want to copy from there to here. So from the same row to the same row, you'd expect that to go smoothly. But if I copy these dates, so I'll select them click copy and you can see that each date is individually selected so it hasn't just selected a block of cells it selected those five dates now I'm going to come over here and click in the first ship date and when I paste instead of getting those five dates into these five cells it's only showing me two ship dates and it was the first one and then the fourth one so it's missed some by the look of it and if we look over here we can see that we're in rows 6, 9, 12, 36 and 44 so the data wasn't all together in the list. To see what happened I'm going to remove the filter so I've got a clear button up on my quick access toolbar. I'll click that and I can see that all the dates even though they were copied individually have all been pasted into a block. So there were two chocolate chip cookies in those rows but it also overwrote the ship dates for bran, banana, and a whole grain order. So that's not what I wanted at all. So I'm going to very quickly undo that paste. So I get back to the original and I'll press the escape key to get rid of that copy marquee. So it's not going to work to just copy from here and paste to there because it copies individually but pastes as a block. One thing we could do is just try and sort our list so all these chocolate chip cookies are together. So if I clear the filter, I could sort by product and then go down and copy and paste from here over to here. So that will work well for you in some cases. Just get the items together and then copy and paste. But in some cases that won't work. Perhaps you've got three or four things filtered and you're down to a few items and you can't sort to get them all together. In that case, you could add a column in your table temporarily and use it to mark the rows. I'm going to insert a column here. And we'll use that to mark the rows that we want to copy and paste. I'm going to sort the list by date again, which is the way it was originally. And in this column, we're going to put our mark. First, I'm going to filter by chocolate chip. And if there were other things you were filtering, you could apply those filters. Now you're down to the list you want to change. And in this column, I'm going to select the cells, type an X, and then press Control and Enter to put that X in all those cells that are visible. And when I clear the filter, we can see that there are X's only in the rows that were filtered. None of the other rows are marked. So now I could sort this column, data A to Z, and all those chocolate chip or whatever we had filtered is at the top. I can now copy from here over to there without overwriting any of the other data. And once you're finished, then you could delete this column and sort again by date. So to avoid overwriting data in hidden rows, make sure you're not copying and pasting in a filtered list if there are other rows hidden between the items where you're copying and pasting. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.